Yo, what's going on? My name is D-Mal, producer from Brooklyn, New York. Always been around music. My mom and dad, they're well-trained musicians. My dad teaches at home and my mom sings. As far as the people I've worked with, Janet Jackson, Mary J. Blige, Justin Bieber, Diddy and Dirty Money, Ty Dolla Sign, Tony Braxton, Rihanna, Natasha Bedingfield, there's a bunch of others. <laughs> How I got to work with Janet, I had a couple placements at that time, and I met this producer, Rodney Dartal Jerkins, and I was over there with him for like a couple of years. Within those years, I got the chance to work with her and do basically a single off the Discipline album, which was a uh, feedback, and I did another song called Love. Like right before I left there, I started working with Puff. He played me some of the shit that um, he was working on that he had at the time. He just started, and I just fell in love with what he was trying to do and we were working on that thing for like two years. It came out amazing. We had a lot of stuff, like stuff that y'all never will hear and stuff that's on the album. How I linked up with Ty Dolla Sign it was probably a couple of years ago when I first met him, but I actually was on his first mixtape before I even met him. Sean Barron, his A&R, had like a, a bunch of my tracks. And I'm guessing Ty heard it and it's this song called Time off the first project. I remember he was calling me apologizing because he didn't know that I was gonna put on the mixtape. <laughs> and I was actually in the process of submitting it. But when I heard that, I fucked with it. So I just, I was like, it's all good. So by the time the second Beach House album came out, I met him, played him a few tracks. Did the song with him and B.O.B. called Crease. That's when I started really getting involved with like doing all the interludes and the transitions from one song to the next. And since then, he's just been rocking with me. So I'm like involved in every project he's ever done. You hear something that I did. So this particular track on a free TC album was this joint that I did with his brother who's locked up. He sent me an acapella of him and his cellmate, uh, Loke. Sean Baranchat sent it to me and it was like, yo, Todd wants you to work on this joint called Miracle. And when I heard it, I pretty much knew instantly what I wanted to do to it. I hopped on it right quick. So that's what I got up right now. So we're gonna get into this beat. So this is the miracle session right here that I got up. And the first thing I really came up with was just the chorus, like where I wanted to go with it. Cause it was like an acapella, like all I really heard was TC. So that pretty much was that. I had my chords up here, which I did with my vocals. I had my engineer Jay record me. It's this thing that I do that it's kind of like takes six type, you know what I mean? Just harmonies and instead of actually like playing an instrument, I uh, just sing all the, you know, harmonies. So I'll just solo each part so you can hear one by one. It's the high one. That's everything. And here's all of that with uh with TC. Yeah, so you know, from there, I started on the drums. Added a kick to support his banging on the table, you know. He was in the cell when he did this, and um, I added 808. <laughs> some claps then I added some percussions hi-hats you know snare rolls and stuff like that to support 
Oh yeah, I got this hi-hat loop. I don't know where I found it at. Kind of in the back, kind of giving it that that kind of drive to it. So I got these horns on here too. So I'll show you with the vocals. Then, to give it some extra support, did some soulful piano playing <laughs> right here. I also did this right here, it's me singing the OOs along with TC. Then I pushed them down to give it kind of like a octave kind of feel. And also screwed. Pick up going into the next part. And that's Miracle. My advice for uh, upcoming producers, I would say really, just if you really believe in what you're doing, man, just keep doing that. And eventually like someone's gonna get it. If it's like, if it's different, you know, if it's like too safe to certain people or whatever, just keep, doing what you're doing and you're gonna find a niche. When I started, I, I used to like chase the, the radio, chase what's going on now and all that stuff. But really, I think my, my success really came more so when I was just doing what I what I loved, what I wanted to do. I didn't really have no rules to it or anything like that. So I would just say, just keep doing you. If you really believe in it, that's all you got. And it just, the rest will, will answer for itself, you know what I mean?